Karbala is all about trust. When they wrote letters to Imam Hussein, come to Kufa, we are with you. Imam says, I have an obligation. People are calling me. People are beginning to realize their duty. They have ignored the duty. That when Allah commanded them, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, ati'u Allah wa ati'u rasul wa ulil amri minkum. Or you believe, obey Allah and obey the messenger and those vested with authority from among you. We forgot the third group. And a caliph comes, Yazid ibn Muawiyah, ibn Abu Sufyan, a tyrant. In three years, he desecrated the most sacred institutions of Islam. Desecrated, killed the grandson of the Prophet. He desecrated, he burnt the Kaaba. And he desecrated the Prophet's house in the mosque. Which caliph, in which religion do you know, was capable of doing that in three years? Yazid did it. So people wrote letters to him, come, you are our Imam. He said, I'm sending my representative first to establish and to validate and to prepare for my coming. So Muslim Ibn Aqil goes to Kufa first and in a heartbeat, people abandon him. I remember this every day, sisters and brothers, every single day. That when my Imam comes, God forbid I abandon him. God forbid. Prophet says, Afdalul ibadah intadar al Mahdi. One of the best forms of ibadah is the intadar of your leader. Hold on to him, for that's your guiding connection to God. For that's where dignity lies, that's where trust lies, that's where honesty lies. Guidance and leadership that Imam Hussain was so careful in his movements, so careful. Every stop he made out of the 14 stops until the 14th one was Karbala. He would talk to the people, invite them warn them tell them even Arafah before Imam leaves he tells them I'm warning you this is what you need to do Allah says warn them do the da'wah bring them closer tell them the truth even on the day of Ashura Imam would keep going forward and talk to them he would constantly talk to them many of the companions who fought with Imam Hussain would go forward and talk to the enemy and said wait you're doing a mistake stop stop they didn't listen this is how Imam was so you will read every companion who fought, old and young, never wavered. And I think that's trust. Build trust. Go forward. Don't ever run away from the battlefield. When you make a promise, deliver, even if it means you die. In Karbala, Imam selected who will represent him. He made sure not a single companion who represented Karbala would turn their face away from the truth, for it would taint the message of Karbala, the sacrifice for human generations to come.